to, but, but I think when I moved to India, that kind of like stamped me that I'm going to start doing music like properly. Yeah. So when you went to India though, yeah. at such a young age, what was that adjustment like? Uh, Did you have some family that went with you? Or were you entirely on your own? So I went to India with my dad. Um, yeah. My baby was living, my my grandmother was living in um, in Punjab in a bend in a village. Mm-hmm. What village? Um, it's a village called Sandra Sodia. Okay. It's in a, in a district called Husharpur. Okay. Have you heard of it? You've heard of it in Husharpur. If anyone knows, you know, yeah. shout out to them. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I, uh, my, my grandma's living there and um, my dad went with me to set me up. He kind of... Um, He's, he got he got me a car out there and he got me a driver to go to my lessons every day. Mm-hmm. It was like a plan, like from the beginning, like since I was like nine years old, my dad, like it was like he was just, he kept prodding with the same thing. Like the only way you're gonna learn is if you go to India. The mm-hmm. only way you're gonna have good Punjabi is if mm-hmm. you live in, live in India, good Hindi. Uh, only way you're gonna have a good, a great foundation of Indian classical is if you actually go to India and learn there. So it was like every couple of weeks that I was reminded, I have to go to India, I have to go to India, mm-hmm. I have to go to India. And then boom, I ended up in India and I was 16 man, with my dad mm-hmm. for like three weeks. He set me up and then he went and left me there for a year, man. I was like, yo, dad, I don't want to stay here. Was I was going to ask man. you, after he leaves, that's when reality sits, even though yeah, you're your baby there. But that, you know what? I just want to say, man, that day when he left, man, I was 16 years old. Yeah. I didn't have any friend, just my grand, which I haven't spent a lot of time with. Mm-hmm. It was hard, man. It was so hard. It was so like, I was so upset. I remember the day when he left, I did not want him to go, man. It was mm-hmm. so hard. But I just thought, you know what? I think the one thing that kept me going was because my dad has such a massive passion for music mm-hmm. and he didn't he wasn't internationally successful i thought you know what, i gotta do it for my dad I, i've just gotta make this happen so every day i had a calendar in my room mm-hmm. every day I like a countdown because i bought my return ticket for the ne- the year and uh, the year after mm-hmm. but in like in i think it was june or july there's like a, i think 27th of july or something it was <laughs> So basically what happened was every day I'd mark off the day like when I'm going to go back. That's so it, sad. Yeah, it was really sad, man. And the but days go so great. slow when you do oh, that. You're yeah. like, the day's not over yet? Yeah, but the beautiful thing was that it sh- it taught me so much, man, about self-discipline. Mm-hmm. It taught me so much about just just being um, dedicated, to one, dedicated to one thing and working towards that one goal. So I just thought, you know what, I'm here now. After about two, three weeks of being sad, do my lessons i thought you know what, i'm here now and dad's not gonna come back here mm. for th- until well i'm gonna see him in england now so i've just got to work hard so every day i was just literally eight nine hours ten hours a day of just practice singing yeah. every day man that's what it was i just want to remind people this is like a time before social media before yeah. whatsapp calls it was like if you wanted to be connected you had to do the old-fashioned dialing, dialing yeah. get a calling card luckily yeah in my village we had a phone in the house um but we couldn't make international calls from that from that phone. Mm-hmm. So I could only call my parents, yeah, if, it, well, I can only speak to my parents if they call me, or there was an STD around then. It's yeah. like a, it's basically a, f- a phone booth, it's called. A mm-hmm. STD is a phone I booth. I remember them. <laughs> no, it's actually trust me. <laughs> Whenever we'd call someone to like send us clothing, you'd have to be like, did they call us from there? And they yeah. must do the missed call too. Yeah, exactly. So every Sunday I was, I was allowed to go to the local village, a local town of the village, um, which is a place called Nandachor, and I'd have like a like a fifteen minute conversation with my mom and dad. Yeah, that would be the day, like the, the best day of the week for me. That so, sucks. You yeah. literally weren't talking to any of your friends, N- or no, man. I, I was just completely like, like, just c- disconnected. Yeah, yeah, disconnected from the whole world. Like, even I, I didn't have a phone, obviously, around then. So I was just like, you know what? I've just got to make this happen. So I was just working, but it was beautiful, man. Like now looking back at it. It was, it was it was wicked because it gave me so much focus like now obviously when i sit down to practice i've got my phone next to me mm-hmm. then it, i had no phone next to me i had no one bugging me no one saying I've, you gotta do this you gotta do that it was just boom just concentration was on my work i just mm-hmm. i've got to do this particular exercise this rug just gotta go in so it was just work 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 mm-hmm. and i learned so much then man i learned in terms of music in terms of living um with nothing basically because yeah. living in a village is hard man like mm-hmm. as as the year went on it got really hot man so did you have consistent electricity 
that's the thing isn't it? <laughs> i remember those days that's actually the they thi- still have those days in the like, trend it would be like 35 40 degrees up to 45 degrees and we'll have a cut like an electric cut for three days mm-hmm. and i'll be i'll be trying to ring the 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 the, f- the phone exchange but when is the when is the phone going to be disconnected because you uh, connected you'll be like oh, i'll be connected in the next next two hours or or it'll be connected tomorrow so and so day and then in the, living in the village everyone's like Baji, the vi- the vi- the ain't gonna come back until like the uh, next week. I'm like, oh my god, man, it's 45 degrees, yeah, yeah? and I'm burning. I'm like, what are we gonna do? But then literally, like, it was just I thought, I have to do it. I'm mm-hmm. gonna have to live here. So to the point where I didn't sleep. <laughs> I had to. There's this thing. There's called, no way you can. Like, yeah, just like making sure my t-shirt's like completely wet and just putting it on and thinking, you know what, this will cool me down for mm-hmm. the next couple of hours or an hour at least. Does that work? It worked for a bit. Okay. But it was hard, man. But it was beautiful as well. 